I don't know about you, but I've had enough of this. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to run and hide. I want to stand and fight. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going against what the Met Police did last night. I thought they did a marvellous job. And of course, you would run and hide in that situation. But in general terms, we as a society now cannot run and hide. We have to stand and fight. I don't care what the Muslim mayor of London says, Sadiq Khan. When we, you know, let's get used to it. It's part of living in a modern society, uh, city. No, it's not. We need to crush this extremism. And we have to recognise the elephant in the room. Of course, not all Muslims are terrorists, but the threat we're facing at the moment is from the Muslim community. These people do describe themselves as Muslims. They are Islamist fanatics. They are Nazis. I don't know about you, but my grandfather and my father didn't run and hide in the 40s. No, they stood and fought. And that's what we have to do. When the Nazis were across the channel, we fought them. We beat them. We were grossly outnumbered, but we met fire with fire, and we beat them, and we liberated Europe. Why can't we do that again? Because now the savages, the barbarians, the fascists are not at the gate. They're living in our cities. They're jumping out of transit vans and slashing women's throats, going into pubs and indiscriminately killing Jews, Hindus, probably even Muslims, Christians, and people who aren't religious as they enjoy a drink on a hot summer's night. Enough is enough. I am not going to run and hide. I'm going to stand and fight. And when Theresa May speaks to the country after her Cobra meeting, I want her to say that. We're going to stand and fight. Sadiq Khan says, oh, they won't cower London, and London's the safest city in the world. Well, it won't be, you burke if we carry on having an atrocity every other week, how many more people need to lie slaughtered on the floors of our cities before the establishment elite do their first duty, which is protect the people of the United Kingdom? Are you with me or against me? Let's get organised. We want now to do this. This is my proposal. Anyone who has fought in Syria or Iraq and come back they need to be immediately arrested and interned. I don't mean internment forever, but I certainly mean they need to be investigated and their families until we find out they are not a threat in this country. Clearly we have to do this because there's too many for the secret services to keep an eye on. Remember, they reckon there's 23,000 and the Manchester bomber wasn't even in the top 3,000. Therefore, the only way to help our secret services is to lock these people up till we can ascertain they're not a danger. Anybody who now goes to fight in Iraq and Syria, we need to make sure that they're told in clear terms they'll never be allowed back in the country. If they've got a dual passport, this is easy. If they haven't, it's a bit more difficult. But I tell you what, I don't give a flying shit about the rest of the world. I don't think Donald Trump's going to object. After all, he wanted a travel ban. And I certainly don't think Putin will. If they go don't let them back. And also, if they do go, their families need to be heavily investigated that they aren't involved or implicated in any way, shape or form. We need to stop all funding of British mosques and madrasas by the Saudis. Any mosques who have already got money off them, we should close them down immediately. All sermons, all lectures, all prayers must now be performed in the English language any foreign-speaking imams, well, they can leave or speak English. Police officers must be in every mosque or secret service so we can hear what is being said. And I don't think the Muslim community should worry about this. If they've got nothing to hide, what's the problem? And don't start on me about Islamophobia. This is not about Islamophobia. We all just want to live together. But the problem is in their community. Do you agree or not? And if you're a Muslim, argue with me, either now or here on Twitter or on Facebook or ring my radio show every day, Monday to Friday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You can get the free app to listen, www.talktomeyourradio.com. Talktomeyourradio.com. 
It's the John Gaunt Show. So go to www.johngaunt.com and download it now. www.johngaunt.com. All the links are there to download the app. And there's loads of podcasts there so you can get a flavour of what we talk about. But I have had enough. I'm getting thousands of comments on the screen, by the way. I can't possibly respond to them because I want to keep this short and sweet. And I'm all, but thank you for them. Keep them coming. I'll read them on the recorded version uh, later. But the bottom line is, it's time to stand and fight like our forefathers did. And what are we standing and fighting for? I'll tell you what we're standing and fighting for. We're standing and for fighting for the rights of lesbians and gays to sleep with whoever they wish. We're standing for the idea that a liberal society where people can drink and wear what they want is better than making our women look like they're 400-year-old Daleks. We're fighting for a belief in science rather than the nonsense that is contained in the Koran. We're fighting for the Enlightenment. We're fighting to protect Western democracy. We're fighting for our rights and values, and we're fighting for the right to party. I know I'm joking, but it is true. We're fighting for the right to be able to go out in Borough Market and have a beer, or Milton Keynes or wherever it is, without this fear hanging over our heads. We're fighting for our very survival. This is war. This is not war against Muslims, but it is war against the Islamist extremists who happen to be in the Muslim community. They have to be rooted out. I'd bring back the death penalty for anyone conspiring to commit an act like last night. I would also clearly say to the families, if your sons or daughters get involved in this, you're going to be heavily, heavily criticised and investigated. We are at war. I do not want to run and hide. And just finally, before I go, the Metropolitan Police and the Ambulance Service and the Fire Brigade and the rest of our emergency services, again, did a beautiful, wonderful job last night. Killing these monsters within eight minutes. Well done, lads and lasses. However, Mrs May, when I ran the PC pleb campaign, I warned you, I absolutely warned you that cutting 20,000 police jobs whilst we were under the threat of terror was ridiculous, you went ahead. You were the Home Secretary who allowed net migration to go up in all of the periods of the six years you were in charge. You were the person who cut the immigration service. You were the person who cut the boats that patrolled the channel. You, Mrs May. And they reckon you were a great Home Secretary and you should be Prime Minister. You who wanted to stay in the EU with Angela Merkel letting in 1.2 million people without vetting them. You, you have blood on your hands, Mrs May. But not just you, Mrs May. The whole establishment elite, all of the politicians living in that cosy little world. They attacked you in the mother of all parliaments. That didn't make you see the elephant in the room. They killed little girls at a concert. That didn't make you see the elephant in the room. And now they slaughter drinkers on the streets and in the pubs of London. Will you see the elephant in the room? Shall I tell you what the elephant is? Do you need to know? Or would you rather talk about Islamophobia and the rising tide of Islamophobia, even though there is no real record of that since even 9-11 or 7-7? I despise anybody who attacks anybody because of their religion. Just because I think a religion is ridiculous isn't a reason to attack people. But it's not the priority, you establishment elite jerks. The priority is the protection of the British people. And you've been failing. Absolutely failing. But now is the time for action. Now we're at war. And I'm not going to run and hide. I'm going to stand and fight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you agree with what I've said in this video, will you please retweet the video? Will you please download the link to my website, 
which is www.johngaunt.com, and then download, should I say, the link to my podcast. Join me live every day between 4 and 6 on the only unregulated talk station in the United Kingdom. We don't sack people because of what they say, like the lame broadcasting corporation. We tell the truth, and we allow you to tell the truth. We are at war, ladies and gents. The time now is to stand and fight, not run and hide. Again, though, before I leave, let's please say a fantastic well done to our emergency services last night. Join me, www.johngaunt.com. Thank you very much.